What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode of Lunches for Lunches. I'm your host, Kyle Lunch. Today is a great day. It's a very important day because this is episode two of Meat School. If you haven't seen my video on how to cut a whole beef tenderloin into filet mignon, you want to go check that out. Today we're going to cut a top butt cap on into top sirloin steaks, top sirloin filet steaks, we're going to do shell steaks, some places call them uh, top sirloin shell steaks, top sirloin uh, strip steaks, whatever. I'm going to break down this entire piece right here. This is 13 and a half pounds, 13.59 pounds of certified Angus beef, top sirloin steaks. So if you want to zoom in here and check this logo out, one of these two logos, if it doesn't have that logo, that stamp, it's not certified Angus beef. Okay, it's like 10 and 100 cattle make the cut for certified Angus, the best you can get. Alright, so when you open this up, you want to do a diagonal slice. Apparently I need to sharpen my knife now. Okay, diagonal slice, and then be really careful when you take it out. You want to keep all of the blood inside the packaging, that's the goal. So try to like fold it out, and then uh, do what I like to call the, the old alligator flip. Alligator roll. All right, so here's the top sirloin, cap on top sirloin. On the bottom here, you'll see uh, what they call the Brazilian roast. I believe some people call it picana, um, unless that's a dish of sorts. Um, anyway, this part here, that's all your top sirloin steaks. So I'm gonna show you how to take this monstrosity and carve it out, utilize the excess for stir fry, stew meat, that type of thing and uh, show you how beautiful you can make this big ugly thing. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna start at the top. I kinda just glide my knife along and come down. And just to figure out where I'm at, you can peel, you see how easy that peels off there? I'm just gonna come down. And make that cut. So you know exactly where you need to break this fat out, and it's basically here. So, V it, cut in a little bit, up under, come out. All the way, basically all the way, and throw the fat on the ground. That's what we do in the butcher shop. Don't matter, clean it up later. And the heavy fat, I'm just throwing away. Some people use it as coyote bait or God knows what. I'm gonna save all the good pieces for stir fry. I'll show you later. We're not gonna mess with that right now. So, you see this beautiful piece of meat right here? That is the beginning of your sirloin shell steak. Okay? So that's what we're trying to separate right now. After you think that you got it beat out good enough, and you start to see it separating, see that peel? It's really starting to peel off. I'm gonna try to get this so the camera can see. Side. See how it's separating right there? You could just push the cap away from the bottom of the sirloin section. This is the fun part, because once you start hacking away at that fat, it just peels off right by itself. Come down with your knife. Separated. You have your top sirloin and your shell. I'm gonna start with the shell it's the easiest actually. There's a couple of important things you gotta note. This is the beautiful piece. This is the not so beautiful piece. Your steaks do not want to cut be cut this way. If you, if you do that, the steaks are gonna look terrible. They're gonna look ugly. This looks pretty. That's what you want right there. So, all this fat, you'll see how thick it is. Take that right off. Put it in the scrap pile. Maybe I'll harvest this little bit here for later. There's not that much meat there though, but um, you see where the top of this fatty part connects to the meat. This is actually kind of like a silver seam tendon, and I'll show you underneath. Look at that. It's like on a tenderloin. That silver seam, it's so tough. 
That's you don't want that. Some stores, they leave it on when they cut it. It's terrible, it's tough. So to remove it, it's kind of like skinning the fish. You just come up, run your knife right along the bottom of it. Try not to carry any meat along with it. And just take it off right like that. So after you uh, have that ugly piece off there, I like to pre-trim the fat on these steaks a little bit. Sometimes this fat is super hard to uh, trim evenly. This you can tell is a little bit older cow. It comes apart a little bit more nicely. So now I'm gonna show you how to cut the steaks, which we call the shell steaks. Up straight down. Boom. You usually get about four of them. You get like two real nice looking ones. Like that. And then two smaller ones. That's a good one. Another small fit one. And that would be it. Thanks, that's it, right there. Get four nice ones, some stir fry stew meat, and then uh, we'll tackle this top sirloin. So there's multiple ways to cut this thing, I'm sure. I'm obviously gonna show you how I cut it. You see this, this garbage little piece of skin right here, whatever that is, you don't want that. I come up, just get rid of it right off the rip. Goes in the trash pile, okay. Probably show you what I'm doing there. It sits right up on the side, and what that does, it gives you a good start after you take that off into taking off basically this entire muscle right here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really just like anything else. You follow the line. See that seam? You cut, you'll be able to find that seam. And don't be afraid, you'll think. Going into this spread right here, you'll think, oh, I'm cutting too much, I'm gouging it. You're not. This whole muscle is tough, makes good stew, maybe stir fry. I'm gonna use it for stew probably, but it comes right off the top. And some top sirloins actually, some sirloins actually come just pre-packed in this form. I know this is what acne gets right here, just this cryovac and then you cut your top sirloin steak. So again, this muscle that was sitting right on top of there, I just removed, and now we're gonna cut our top sirloin steaks out of this piece right here. Real quick, I'm gonna brush over the stir fry, stew meat type of thing. I mean, if you have hunks of meat left over, of course it's gonna have this scraggle on it. Just take off everything that does not look nice. <laughs> the fat, the gristle, the garbage, the stuff you would not want in your stew, and make it a nice clean cut of meat. And just take it down, and you have perfect stew meat. So that's what I'm gonna do with all this stuff. All these ends, just cut it into chunks. Stew meat. On the back side here, you can see these tendons. All of these tendons, that rough, tough stuff. That's gonna be your top sirloin steaks. This beautiful guy right here, the first, first entire piece, that's your top sirloin filet. That's one of the most tender pieces of the top sirloin imaginable. So we're gonna separate that. We're gonna take them off there. And what we're gonna do, is you're gonna see this, see this little, maybe, maybe I'll make it crisper for you. Peel this a little bit with my knife. This white line right there, you're gonna kinda wanna use that as a guide. Draw your line straight across from that white line, and that's where your top sirloin fillet is gonna be. And when I say, I mean, you know, it was like that, uh, take it off. And so now that we have our top sirloin fillet, oh look at that, I got a little rough at the beginning. We're gonna cut our steaks. How else would we do it other than 
Usually what I like to do is what I call face it off. Take a thin steak right off the outside. Use this for stir fry or whatever, throw it in the trash pile. And then cut my steaks about an inch and a quarter. See what they look like. They really do look like filet mignons. So that's hence the name, Cop Sirloin Filet. One. You know, cut them however, however you want. Cut them like a lefty now. Just gonna do it real quick. We need the gist. Throw this in the trash pile. I usually get five thick center cuts. And there's your fillets. Top sirloin fillets. Okay. So you're left with the hunk of top sirloin. It's just going to be standard, regular top sirloin steaks. I'm going to take all this fat, I'm going to clean it right up. Just take the fat off, right off the rip. Come up underneath. Some people would leave a little bit on, I might. Because everything I throw away is money down the drain. <laughs> but, now that it's cleaned up, I want to emphasize this. Some people might get confused on which way you know, they should be cutting with the grain, against the grain. Look at this. Look at how horrible this looks. Just ask yourself, would you want a steak cut in that direction? <laughs> no, you would not. Look at this. Look how nice that looks. Do a little face off here. Just do me. Look at that. Look at the difference between with the grain and against the grain. I mean, just amazing. So that is gonna be where I'm gonna cut my top sirloin steaks, just right on down like that. Some stores, they actually would cut it this way and then separate the two, have two other little circle steaks. I like big steaks, I like bigger steaks. You know, bigger the better, America, okay. So, you just come on down and cut your top sirloins, ladies and gentlemen. I like them about an inch and a half, look at that. Beautiful. When you get down to the end like that, you see all the tendons right up in there? You can just cut it straight down. Cut it straight down. Take your tendon side, all that, put it in the junk pile, and then take one last nice top sirloin filet. And there it is. What do we get? Woo. We got four regular top sirloin steaks, real thick. We got two, four, six top sirloin fillets, a whole big beautiful pile of what's gonna be stew meat and stir fry meat, and four thick sirloin shell steaks. 60 bucks. Can't beat it.